Hi everyone, it's Justine and Sharon here from Swim Style Patterns. Today we're going to be showing you how to make pleats and pockets and we'll be basing it off a pattern that's available on our website and in the links below, the high waist pants and shorts pattern. But this is a versatile method and you can use it for any patterns or any other pleats and pockets that you wish to make. If you do like this video guys, remember to subscribe to the channel as we'll be releasing videos similar to this every single week. And leave a comment below and let me know what project you're working on at the moment that you might be able to use this method of pleats or pockets with. So let's jump right in and get started. What you'll need to complete this project is some pins, some scissors, some thread, a tape measure. To mark the pleats, you'll need a fabric pen or tailor's chalk, or you can even mark it with some pins. If you've got a square ruler, that's fantastic, but it's not necessary. I'm going to show you how you can create this pleat without using a square ruler. I've cut out the front section of our high waist pants and shorts pattern to guide you through sewing the steps on how to sew the pleats and pockets. This pattern is available in the links below in the description and on our website. We will begin by sewing the pleat steps first. I've transferred the pleat marks from the printed pattern to the front section by cutting small clips along the edge. The pattern directs us to mark in another row of pleat marks, 7.5 centimeters of three inches directly below the marks on the top edge. I recommend you use a square ruler to complete this task, but if you do not have one, you can create your square ruler from a piece of printed paper as I have done in the video. On the side of the paper mark in 7.5 centimeters or three inches, mark in your pleat marks with water soluble fabric marker or tailor's chalk or you can use pins to mark the pleat marks. I've used a sharpie pen just for the purpose of this tutorial to show you the pleat marks clearly. Of course, don't use a sharpie pen on your own special project as they are not water soluble and will leave a huge stain. Only use markers that are water soluble. Form the pleats by matching the marks. Begin on marks closest to the center front. Press the pleats and pin in position. Stitch along the fold line of each pleat. Start from the top edge and end at the lower pleat mark of each pleat. Stitch across the top edge of the front section to secure the pleats in position. Now press your new pleats. Mm -hmm. 
This is the pocket facing on the left side and this piece is called the pocket back. Now right sides together, pin the pocket facing to the front section. Stitch the pocket lining to the front section. Take care to pivot your work at the corner near the top edge of the seam. Clip the seam allowance at the corner near the top of the entry seam. Press the seam allowance towards the pocket. Take care to press the clipped corner part of the seam. Understitch the seam allowance on the pocket side. Now flip the pocket facing over to the wrong side of the front section. Press the edge of the pocket entry seam. Right sides together, pin the pocket back to the pocket facing. I've stitched the pocket sections together. I've also stitched a curve at the lower corner so I could finish the raw edges with my overlocker or serger. Press and stitch the top and side edges of the pocket section to the front section. We have one more step to complete. Pin the vertical edge of the pocket entry to the front section. I stitched the vertical edge of the pocket in position. 
So that should be all the steps that you need to complete your pleats and pockets across any sewing project that you might want to add them into. If you did like this video, remember to subscribe to our channel because we'll be making videos like this every week. And don't forget to add a comment on what you would like us to make moving forward. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week.